Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony, and with this channel, we bring you a variety of tech-related content. If this is your first time here, please remember to subscribe and hit that little bell down below so that you're alerted to when new content is being released. In today's video, we're going to take a look at two ways to restore files from a Hyper Backup repository using Hyper Backup Explorer. Alright guys, so I'm signed into my Synology NAS and I've already launched a Hyper Backup program from the main menu. Here you see a list of my backup tasks. Now in these scenarios, each of these backup tasks are taking a folder from my Synology NAS and backing it up to an external USB drive. So what we're going to take a look at in this first scenario is how to restore files from that external USB drive back to your Synology NAS or different locations. Let's take a look. So if I click on my YouTube backup task, right next to the backup now button, there's a little icon and it says backup explorer. So let's launch the backup explorer right from within the hyper backup application. And you can see here are all of my backed up files on the external drive. So I'm just going to look for a small file and my channel intro is nice and small. Now I have three options for restoration. I can copy to another location on my NAS. So if I select the document shared folder, it will copy to the documents folder and we'll take a look now. Let me just minimize this here. And since the documents folder is synced using CloudStation server to the documents folder on my desktop. If I go into my actual documents folder on the desktop, you can see here is the channel intro that was copied and restored. Okay, let's go back. If we just simply use the second option, restore, this will restore it um, and overwrite the original file back to the original file location. Now I'm not going to do that at this point, so I'm just going to say no. And the third option allows you to download the file um, to your computer. So I'm just downloading the file like I would download any other file um, from the internet. And if I go into my download location, you can see there's my channel intro MP4 file. Okay, let's take a look at one more thing using Backup Explorer from within the Hyper Backup application. You can access these same three options by just simply right clicking on the file itself and you have the same three options appear in a contextual menu. But what happens if your NAS for some reason is not available, if it's offline or crash or whatever the case may be, how do you get to those files on your USB drive? Well, stay tuned. I'm going to show you that in scenario two. In the unfortunate event that your Synology NAS is not available to you for whatever reason, how do you get to those repository files that were stored by Hyper Backup on the external backup drives? Well, Synology makes it easy for you. You have to do two things. One, you have to download a desktop version of Hyper Backup Explorer from Synology's website, and I'll show you that in just a minute. And the second thing you have to do is plug that external backup drive directly into your computer. So let's take a look at how to get the Hyper Backup Explorer desktop. Go to Synology's website, which is www.synology.com. Click on the support link and scroll down to the download center and click on find your Synology product and then just scroll in the list until you find the product that you own. And in my case, it's the DS216 plus two. I'm going to hit the go button. And now I'm presented with various download options. And you can see right here, there's an option that says Hyper Backup Explorer, a desktop tool for browsing, decrypting, and extracting different versions of backup data in Hyper Backup repositories. And then you have the option of downloading the uh, installer for your appropriate machine. So I've already done this step. So let's take a look on my desktop. You can see here's the external USB drive. And if I open it, 
you can see the two repositories for ScreenFlow. Those are my ScreenFlow backups and my YouTube uh, video backups. If I click on it and right click on the file, I can say show package contents, but I'm still not able to see my actual files in any usable form. So what do I do? Well, that's where Hyper Backup Desktop Explorer comes in. So let me launch that program, which I have conveniently uh, located in my dock. And I'm going to say Browse Backup File. And now I'm going to select the USB drive. And let's take a look at the YouTube repository and say Open. And now you can see here are all of my files stored on the USB external drive. So let's go back to that same file, that channel intro. And down below, you can see here I have a calendar. And if it's marked in red, then that's when I have a backup. So I'm going to take that channel intro. And if I right click on it, I have the option to copy it too. Now notice I don't have the option to uh, restore back to the original location because I'm not doing it through the Hyper Backup program on the NAS itself. So I could simply copy it to and select the location on my computer. So I can say Users, um, Desktop, and say Open. I don't know if you can see that up here, but it copied the file back right there. Or let me just delete that for a second. I could simply use the good old drag and drop out to the desktop to copy the file. So guys, there you have it. You have two ways to restore your files through the NAS using the Hyper Backup program itself. Or if all else fails and the NAS is not available to you, you can use the desktop version of Hyper Backup Explorer to um, access and restore your files. All right, guys. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. One thing I do want to point out, if you're running an antivirus program on your computer, which I hope you are, you may have to disable it to uh, successfully do the backup process or the restore process using Hyper Backup Explorer. In my case, I'm using Trend Micro Antivirus, and it did in fact interfere with the restore process, so I had to turn it off temporarily to perform the restoration. So, depending on what antivirus program you're using, this may or may not be the case for you, but if you run into problems trying to restore and you notice your antivirus program pops up a message, simply turn it off temporarily, run the restore process, and then turn it back on. Remember to check out some of my other Synology videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. Thank you for watching. See you next time.